Nice. Heck yeah. I didn't at first, but now it's that's heavy, whatever it is. Oh, there's one eh? Dude, This is like a That's a tank. We're down here at the Aglow Conference in Branson, Missouri. We're on famous Table Rock Lake right now. We're here with Skeeter Yamaha Pro Patch Slopper from Oliva, Wisconsin. There's some uh, largemouth, of course, in here, smallmouth and spotted bass. We've never fished this lake before. He's never fished this lake before, so we're gonna pick his brain about breaking this lake down. She's gonna be hot, the water's calm. It's a beautiful day out here, but we're hoping to put some spotted bass in the boat, maybe some big largemouth, maybe some big smallmouth. Let's go fishing. Starting out with some drop shots, one with just a traditional big bite, uh, sensation, cliffhanger worm. Um, and it's a big thing down here, usually with spotted bass, they really like pink purple colors. So we're gonna start out with some of that. Just fish some of this, these deeper points with rock and this one's got a little timber on it. And then we're hopefully gonna be able to live scope them. We're just gonna be able to chase them around and not be blind fishing. So that's kind of the goal, but if this doesn't work, we're gonna do something different. There's a pile of them in that bush. God, there's a bunch of them right there. Drop it right under the troll motor. Yeah, drop it like, yeah, right there. You should get one. It's a nice spot. Nice. That's a spot. So that took about five minutes. Bunch on the live scope. Actually a pretty nice spot. You know, and it's up where I'm from, we don't have them. And I was telling these guys, I absolutely love fishing for spotted bass. They're gorgeous fish, hard fighting, um, really aggressive, really aggressive. So hopefully we can get some more of these guys hooked up. I love that though, you just go right out in front of the resort and start catching fish. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, that's... It's not always like that. No. It's like most time human nature, like you put it in and you're just like, I gotta get as far away from wherever yep. I put my boat in. Well, you kind of want to just drive your boat. That's half the fun of fishing something. It is. <laughs> And I think, you know, like for tournaments down here, you, you most of the time I think you're gonna win with largemouth, but just as far as having fun fishing, um, drop shot in deep water for spots is, it's really tough to beat if you can get on a good group of them. Um, if we would have got out early, I definitely would have went and fished shallow because it sounds like there's a really good bite to do it for that too in the morning, but then after that, it's not so good. So, um, no, if we can get keep doing this, this would be good. Bunch of them right under the boat. I one swim out of the tree. Came and looked at it. Yeah, they just, that's. Oh, second one. Oh, it comes. Yep, yeah, just swam up to it, looked at it. Yeah, you'd think some of these would bite. I mean, the way that one bit. Right. Well, and there was like a horde of them that yeah. went down to eat it. It's like, all right, here we go. I thought this was gonna be like, easy. Go try to find a different zone here with some fish we can hopefully catch. There's fish down there. I just, I don't know if they're bass or, or not. It's, this is just a straight, straight gravel point. That last one had timber on it and kind of some little rock piles. This is just kind of, kind of slick, but that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. 
Well, let's just scan. I just want to put that live scope down and just kind of run up this point. There's bait here, so that if there's bait here, there should be something around. When you talk about fish, there's a lot of fish right here. It didn't at first, but now it's fighting me. I know a little bit. That is the new Big Bite Sensation Cliffhanger Drop Shot Worm. So we're getting them drop shotting and it's a technique that it's honestly, it's really simple but there's some key components to it uh, that, that will help you catch a lot more fish. The first thing obviously is, is, is the rod. You wanna have the right rod. Um, and there's some variance in that between brands. I use St. Croix. This is actually a drop shot rod. Uh, that's what they call it. It's a six foot 10 inch medium light, uh, medium light power, extra fast action. So I like the extra fast because it'll have a soft tip on it. But when you set the hook, it'll load up really fast. Um, and with, with this being a finesse presentation, a lot of the bites you get will be real light. You know, there'll just be a little bit of weight when you, when you pick up. That's why I like that extra fast tip so it's really sensitive and I can really feel that. But then when I set the hook, you know, it'll bury the hook um, really well. So the, the basic setup is going to be what's different than a lot of other stuff is the weight is actually below the hook. So you'll tie your knot, which is usually a polymer. Um, I tie a Miller knot, which is a little bit different. So you'll tie your hook on, leave your tag end, don't cut it off, you know, like you would if you're tying a jig or anything else on. Uh, and then, you know, vary it anywhere from 10 inches to three foot, depending upon how far the fish are off the bottom. Um, if the fish are feeding on the bottom, what type of forage they're using, how clear the water is. Um, you just want to bury that length, generally 12 to 18 inches. But, you know, when that weight hits the bottom, then that, that worm, you know, if it was in the water, this is neutrally buoyant, it would sit flat and just wiggle above. So it's, it's, it's basically like fishing a weightless rig, but you can fish it out in deep water. So very efficient. Uh, bait gets down there fast, and it's just something that catches a lot of fish, whether it's smallmouth, largemouth, spotted bass. It's really good for walleye too. Underutilized for walleye, but it's deadly for walleye. Uh, one of my favorite ways to catch them for sure. This is a fun way to catch them drop shot, and it's a lot like walleye fishing, and these fish fight hard for you know, being just a stout little fish. He's got a lot of pull in him. It's a lot of fun. There's still a whole bunch of them sitting on that rock pile there, or a decent amount of them. Yeah, that's that's fun. That's why I love spotted bass. You get them, you get get them in the right scenario, and they they're really aggressive. This is a this is a good quality one. This is a two and a half pound fish. Definitely the biggest one we caught, but they're just um, fat. How how do you like to fight? Oh, it's so fun. That's so fun. <laughs> First, the size of these fish, man. It's, it's not about addictive. the size. It's that's cool. Then I could, oh shoot, of course that one frickin' followed it all the way to the boat. See him right there? Oh, yeah. come on, eat it. Oh, 
Oh, he ate it and I, shoot. Dang it. That's what happened on the last rock pile. I reeled up and followed it to the boat. All right, let's go back out to where we caught, caught the couple this morning, maybe. Right out in there. I don't see much out there right now, but there's, there's some few there. Oh yeah, there's something there. You, you're gonna get, there's, I'm pretty sure one just went right down on your bait. Oh really? Unless it was mine, reel up. No, not there. One of them went screaming down. I saw, I saw the bait drop. And I saw a fish go right to it. Oh, there's one, eh? That's heavy, whatever it is. Yeah. These are really nice ones on this rock pile. Oh! That's a freaking good one. Yes. That's a fat one. That's a two and a half pound fish. Look at that belly on that thing. Oh man. Not very big. A lot of them help, might start fighting as you get them up. A lot of them have been starting to fight when you get them halfway up. Not a bad one. Oh, there's a pile with it. There Should we be able go. to double up here. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it's a good one. Not bad. My first spot. Whole horde of them came with it. I thought I'd be able to double up, but he didn't didn't get them to bite. Well, that's what we came here for today. Spotted bass. You know, obviously growing up in Minnesota, we've caught plenty of largemouth, plenty of smallmouth. Never caught a spotted bass before. Well, we came down here today. Uh, Pat kind of broke down some structure, found some spots, put us on some fish. It started off a little slow, but once he kind of figured out a, a, a pattern and kind of got on the fish a little bit, they both uh, him and Dan caught a bunch of them. And right before we had to quit for the day, I finally got to do a little bit of fishing and got my first one. Woo, not bad. Yeah, we don't have these kind of fish where we're from, but uh, I love them. And you know, a lot of people with spotted bass, they, they, they fish a lot like smallmouth actually, just the way that they position and how aggressive they are. So a lot of smallmouth fishermen are naturally very good at spotted bass fishing too. So yeah, I love it, I love it. Little one. Smallest one of the day. That may be a little one, but I mean, considering how things started off today, that's a great way to, to finish. I know you got more guys that you're taking out here this afternoon. So it took a little bit to find them. You kind of broke it down. You, you found, found the pattern, the structure that they were sitting on and uh, found a way to find them and put a bunch in the boat. And we appreciate you having us out here today. Yeah, man, it was fun. Um, it's always, you never don't know what to expect when you're on a new lake and if you're gonna catch any. And like you said, it took a little while, but not that long. No, yeah, well, you did catch one right away. Caught one I guess. right away and then yeah. we kind of pieced it together and now I feel like we could probably go run all around the lake and do what we're doing and, and catch them. So it's a fun day for sure. Uh, where do we find you online? Uh, on Facebook and Instagram, Patch Lopper Fishing. That's, you know, where I, I post all my social media stuff. I've got a small presence on YouTube, but I, I don't do as much on there. But yeah, Patch Lopper Fishing on Instagram and Facebook. I appreciate a follow. You bet. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, it's a fun day.